Hello, this is Sol from Trifold Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how you can use um, your modifier stack a lot more effectively by applying changes that you've made to your stack all at once as opposed to trying to do it one at a time. What I mean by this, let's uh, apply, and I'll show you how you do it in 2.8 and then also 2.79 and below. Uh, but it's the same application, same process for all versions of Blender. And let's apply some modifiers to our cube here. I'm using Blender 2.82. Uh, so we're going to add, let me see, a bevel to it. We're going to add, uh, let me see, what else can we add? Um, subsurface scattering, that's a good one for visual representation. And let's add one more. Um, you can add as many uh, modifiers as possible. And this technique comes in handy because if you have a lot of modifiers off to the side here, you'll want to start applying them one at a time because that could be tedious. And in order to apply these all at once, after you've made the changes that, you've, you, that you want to make in terms of the parameters there, you go to Edit, Preferences, you type in modifier, I was already typing this in earlier, but modifier, you see. And when you've done that, you'll see this uh, option here that set an interface modifier tools and put a check in that box there. Let's close that out. And when you scroll up, you see you have some more options here. And this is pretty much just straightforward. Apply, we'll go through each one, but this is apply all viewport uh, views, I guess. Delete all and toggle the stack. Now, once you've made all the adjustments and the parameters that you want to make, you can just click Apply All. It applies all the modifiers at once. But let's go, press Ctrl Z to go back to our stack there. And then you can delete all the modifiers if you don't want them in, in your uh, scene to affect your model. So press Delete All. And it gets rid of everything. Let's press Ctrl Z again to get all of our modifiers back. Now the bottom two are pretty handy. And you just press it. This uh, option allows you to view what's going on in, in your user interface and also pretty much you can toggle it on and off. So let's toggle it off and all the modifiers have been turned off in the viewport. Let's toggle it back on. You can see what it's that all the modifiers are back on. And here you can toggle it because right now they're all collapsed and they're all expanded. If you want to uh, just get a cleaner visual of what's your modifier stack, click on toggle stack and then you have everything pretty much shrunk down so you can have a better cleaner looking uh, stack here so you can see what you're working with and this is like I said before is very very helpful when you have a lot of uh, modifiers in the modifier stack and I'll show you how you can do this same process in 2.79 for this uh, option this is for like 2.8 and above, no 3.0 and I guess beyond. And then we go to uh, 2.79 and below, it's a little bit different, but let's click on that. I'm using 2.79 for uh, this uh, demonstration. Just gotta give it a little time to come on up. Okay, there it is. It's the same, same thing. Uh, let's add some modifiers to it. We don't even have to add modifiers, but I'm just going to do it just to do it. Uh, bevel is in there. Let me see. Edge split. And let's throw in a uh, wireframe. Okay, we've got that. And now to activate the uh, interface when it comes to the modifier, click on the file, uh, user preferences. And you've got to be on add-ons, obviously. Then click on that and type in modifier. Modifier. And it says 3D modifier tools as opposed to interface modifier tools, but it's, it's still the same thing. So click in that. And for this, for Blender 2.79 and above, it doesn't automatically save. So if you want this setting to be uh, available to you in 2.79 and below, you have to click on Save User Settings. And it'll save it automatically. And it'll save it when you've clicked that option and now you've got the same options here you can uh, work with and they all still do the same thing so yeah that's today's blender quick tip on how to 
utilize the modifier stack in terms of applying or working with everything at once as, as opposed to trying to uh, apply everything at uh, one at a time. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, and I hope uh, it was helpful to those of you who have been watching. And once again, I really thank you guys who have been watching in the past, and those of you who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are, are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.